Hi, I'm Jonathan Byrne, and this is the Sliding 3x3. Three three. I got the idea for this puzzle after designing a different puzzle, the Sliding 2x2x3. Uh, two by, two by this puzzle is a natural extension of that original puzzle, and you might have already seen it on my YouTube channel. In fact, I've, I've had this puzzle designed for a long time. But this puzzle didn't really function well. There was a fatal... <laughs> there, there was a fatal flaw in it. Okay. <laughs> keep going, keep going. There was a fatal flaw. Um, and this prototype was a failed prototype. Oh. <laughs> I can do it. It was a failed prototype. You can see that it's really hard to turn the slices. I'm, I'm okay with it because I'm the one who made it, right? Like, I should be able to turn my own puzzle. Uh, but uh, you can turn it, but it's very difficult because the layers are all misaligned and everything. Now, for a while I thought, how can I fix this problem? And I realized, look in your YouTube comments and have them solve the problem for you. So that's exactly what I did. And someone said, add magnets. <laughs> this is the second prototype of my puzzle. With this version, I added magnets, and I also, um, actually, it's, it's been so long since I've designed this, I don't really remember what I changed anymore. But the important thing is, it turns way better, okay? Look at that. Not only that, look. Look. Pretty much in every way, this was a <laughs> design improvement. So, let me explain what this puzzle is, because some of you may have never seen the original version. This puzzle functions the same as a regular 3x3, three three, uh, or actually uh, a regular uh, domino type 3x3, three three where these, this axis and this axis can only make 180 degree turns and then this axis can make 90 degree turns. So, that wouldn't be very interesting. But in addition, this puzzle can make these sliding movements. With these two movements, the puzzle becomes a lot more uh, complicated and uh, Wait, I'm gonna do one of his bits. As you can see, it gets, oh, how does he say it? It, it gets easily scrambled. Easily, he, he has this thing which he says where like, his puzzles are always like really, like, because they scramble like so quickly because they're so complicated or whatever. And he's like, you can see that it will, it is, it is scrambled very easily. I don't know. I don't know the exact wording, anyhow. Um, this puzzle, is, it's actually not that hard to solve, and uh, because of that, um, I wanted to work with uh, one of my math professors to see if I could uh, find some uh, numbers or statistics about it, sort of like the ones that they have with a regular Rubik's Cube. I thought since uh, it's already been done with a 3x3, three three, it would be easy to sort of extend the different ideas of group 3 and whatnot and sort of use it as a, a learning project for myself. But uh, unfortunately, it was a little bit too big of a step, so I decided to go down and uh, do it with the sliding uh, two by, uh, one by two by three instead. I haven't quite finished doing that yet, um, but I still felt like I should make this video on this puzzle because, I mean, I made it like, I think almost a year ago. It's, it's, it's so long, I don't, I don't really remember. Anyhow, my question, today for you is, do you like my face? <laughs> hey, <laughs> oh my god. Okay, okay, cut it, cut it, cut it. <laughs> hey guys, this is editor Jonathan. Um, yeah, I hope you guys liked that video. Uh, if, you, if you didn't realize it, I'm trying to do a parody of uh, Oscar Van Deventer, who's an amazing puzzle designer. Um, also, if you notice, this is like a, a face reveal, but I don't know if any of you care about that. <laughs> Anyhow, like, I don't know. When I first started my channel, I was 
I was actually pretty young and uh, what, like two years ago or something. And uh, I didn't really feel comfortable putting my face on the internet, um, but I don't really care about that anymore. Anyhow, um, I, I I still make puzzles. Um, I'm working on one if you're following my Instagram. Uh, I like take pictures of it every once in a while and like show off that I've sanded like three more pieces. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm working on puzzles. Um, but I may also like just post random videos on this channel now because I don't know, man, like college gets to you and school and everything and corona and like, I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm just like gonna use my channel as a place to like put the content that I make up. Um, Cause like I already do that. It's just, I make all the videos private, but I mean, might as well make them public. Anyhow, um, yeah, uh, so hopefully there's more public content in the future for the people who subscribe for that. And uh, I don't know, um, I haven't made a video in a long time. I hope you guys like this one. And here's some bloopers. I'm ad-libbing the, the dialogue right now, the, the, the script. And so probably gonna have to do it more than once, but all right. Okay, you ready? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I feel all the weight and the pressure from impersonating such a famous human being. It's so heavy. But I, I will persevere. My name is Jonathan Byrne. Oh. Hi. I'm Jonathan Byrne. And this is Sliding Three by Three. I can't do the falsetto voice. <laughs> As you may know, I'm a big fan of the bomb dust puzzle. This voice is so high. Fatal flaw. Oh my gosh, it's so great. Fatal flaw. Serious flaw. A serious flaw. I had, there was a fatal flaw with it. Flaw. A flaw. Okay. With the mechanism, because with the me mechanism, mechanism, flaw, prototype. After you, there's this vocabulary that comes with it. All right. So it's back to the drawing board. Back to the drawing. Oh, I can't. I can't take that. Back to the and drawing board. My question board. to you about this film prototype is: Do you have any ideas? Oh my gosh, I just realized that his profile picture, like, his hairline is farther back than, like, in the video. How we can implement the boom dust puzzle in such a way that uh, it prevents cheating, that you can't take it apart, and that it only... Alright, I think I, I think I have the muse going. Okay, are you ready? 